Yo. Okay, so welcome to another Synfig tutorial. And for this one, I will be talking about keyframes and waypoints, right? So I'll be going through all of these wonderful keyframes right here. Now, before I begin, I have to actually um, point out that there is already a wonderful tutorial about um, understanding waypoints, right? And it was done by this YouTuber called Official MMB Studios, right? So I've watched the video and it was really, really good, except for one thing, right? And one thing only, and I'll show you right now, it's at the three minute mark, right? And uh, let me see if I can find it, three, Okay, yeah, so here, right? So what he has done is he started the circles right here and then he ended them right here. But in order to accurately test these out, these all have to be at the same ending position. But if you notice, right, this is slightly ahead of all of these, right? So they, are, they aren't all stopping at the same stop position. In other words, they aren't at the same place. So I'll show you how you can set that up right now. And that's the only thing that was off on this video, but the rest of it is amazing. It was well done. So I encourage you to go and watch this as well. I'll be posting a link to, to this channel and to this tutorial um, in the description below. All right, so let's begin. Um, I basically have the same setup as him, right? The, I've used the same colors to identify each of these keyframes, right? But before we begin this, I'm going to show you how I went ahead and set it up. Um, so I started off with a circle and um, I basically copied the circle so it's of the same circumference and all. And what I did was to hold down shift and then drag it down. So it locks it into place so I can't move left or right. Okay. And then I release. So we know that it's in the same starting position and the same ending position. And if you actually bring out your guide and measure it up, let me click off of that and zoom in. If you measure it, you can see that they are at the same place, right? Same place. Okay, so what I did was just to duplicate that down um, a couple of times to represent all the keyframes. So I duplicated it five times. I'm just gonna work with three here. And then I turned on my grid. And the reason why I use my grid is because the grid has the snap feature. So I can snap it onto one of these lines. So then I know that they will all um, be in the same position. So I turned on snap, um, turned on animate, and then I decided where I wanted to end it. Um, let's say for this, I'm going to put it at frame zero. So I'm gonna come down to maybe the 24 second mark and hold on shift again and drag down to zero, which is right here, I believe. And because snap is on, it snaps it into place, right? So I, so I have no doubt that it's um, at the zero mark. And then I clicked on the next one, hold on shift and move it. And once I get to that point, it snaps it into place. So I did that for all of them. So that's how I know that they are all, they start at the same place and they end at the same position. And we can zoom in to see if we're um, indeed correct. And you can see that everything is accurately lined up. So that's that's the, the only thing that was off on this, right? Uh, and because of this now, the, the representation of movement wasn't accurate, right? But still a, a wonderful tutorial. All right, so let's get into it. So let's close this. So as I said before, I pretty much have the same setup as, as um, MMB Studios. Now, I want to take some time to explain keyframes and waypoints. I think I went over it in a earlier tutorial, but let me explain it again. Now, let me click on one of these. So in Synfig, these that we normally refer to as keyframes are called waypoints. And if you go to the prop, uh, the keyframe properties here, whatever shows up in here using this button right here is a keyframe. 
Okay, so you would press this button to create a keyframe. And what the keyframes do, they, they control the waypoints. So for example, if I should come over this waypoint, for example, and click the plus sign, a keyframe would be assigned to this waypoint. And now I can use the keyframe to alter the waypoint. So we see that it's on frame 27. We can use a keyframe to change the position of that. All right, and you can assign one to this one as well. We can see that it's um, at frame three. You can alter it here using the key the keyframe properties. So yeah, so keyframes control waypoints. However, I rarely, if ever, use keyframes. Okay, so we're going to be continuing to refer to these points as keyframes. I hope that doesn't confuse you. But that's essentially the difference between a keyframe and a waypoint again. Okay, um, but we're just going to, I'm not going to work with um, these over here. So we're just going to work with these points here and refer to them as keyframes with the explanation in mind. All right, so let's actually begin the, t the tutorial now. So what I've done is again, the same setup. I have the these circles starting here and they basically move to the right on frame 24. And uh, the colors, of course, represent each of the different keyframes. So I have one for clamped, one for TCB, which is green, constant red, ease in, ease out, which is blue, and linear, which is yellow, right? So just one simple movement from left to right. But if I should scrub through the timeline, we can see that the, um, the clamped, the TCB, and the linear keyframe are pretty much moving at the same speed. The spacing and everything is the same. So they, and they come to a stop at the same exact time. And if I should um, go through this frame by frame, we can see that they move off at the same time. Just like that. And then if I move again, we can see that they are moving at the same speed and going down the timeline. All right, and you can measure it up if you want. All right, so those are pretty much the same. So the ones that we'll be looking at is the ease in, ease out and the constant. Now, constant basically, all it does is um, it basically teleports from one tele, um, one position to the next. So um, we have it set up just like these where it begins here and then it ends here. So you'll see the starting position here and then you won't see anything in between until we get to the stop position then you'll see the ending part to it. And that's how constant works. Pretty much you will see no in between. Okay, now the ease in, ease out. Um, and by the way, this is a principle of animation where the ease in, ease out are slow in, slow out. And this basically, um, what this does is it starts out small. Uh, well, it starts out slow and then it eases out into, um, then it builds up speed and then it gradually comes to a stop, right? So that's what we're seeing here. So um, keep your eye on the blue. So it starts out slow, right? Just like that, builds up speed, and then it gradually comes to a, a stop. So that's essentially ease in and ease out, right? And again, it's a principle of animation and most people will be using this keyframe, um, this type of keyframe, for, for most of their animations, except when you're doing like maybe robotic movements, you can use either of these ones, okay? So again, clamped TCB linear, essentially the same thing, right? So you can use either of, of those. I usually use the clamped um, and I pretty much don't use TCB or linear, all right? Um, but you can, know that you know that, you know, they're pretty much the same, save for ease in, ease out and constant. Now. By the way, I have onion skin on. That is why you are seeing um, the movement from where it begins to where it ends like that, right? So even though, even though these move pretty much at the same speed, and I'm talking about clamped TCB and linear, they move the same way, you can alter them. And that is using the waypoint editor. And to bring up the waypoint editor, you would right click, so I'm going to right click on this last keyframe and press edit. And I have my waypoint editor. 
so I can use this to actually edit the movement of the keyframes. So I'm basically I'm basically at the 24th keyframe. So that's the one that I'll be altering. Um, and now let's say, let's go to the temporal tension, right? This is something that I've never gone through before, but this is what you'd use to alter it. So um, if I should change this to, for example, one, um, and I'll type one, I won't press apply yet. What this will do, right? It will push the this keyframe out or this movement out outward. So it will, actually come to a, a stop before all of these. Now, um, keep in mind that they all stop at the same time, right? Because this, this animation is one second, right? But it will shoot off before all of these. Um, and pretty much they, they stop at the same time, but it will move off before each of these. So if I type one and press apply, right? Oh, I'm on the constant, my bad. So close, let me undo that. Um, let me just check to see that it's at zero. Okay, so let me use the one of these, which is the uh, the linear, All right? So let me go back, right click on the second keyframe, edit, and then change the temporal tension to one and click apply. We can see that it is ahead of these other keyframes. So if I should go back and check the movement, we see where they start at the same time but at some point it moves ahead of those keyframes. See how far it is from those, All right? So you can use a temporal tension to adjust that. Um, by the way, you can switch between the temporal um, tension. Well, you can switch between the waypoint editors for both of these keyframes. So if I wanted one for this one, I would just right click the keyframe and immediately once you right click, it would, with the waypoint editor open, it will just go back to that um, editor for the first keyframe, right? So, and if I want to switch back to the second waypoint editor, I will just right click and we can see that one value that we typed. So we know that we're at the second keyframe. So instead of closing this out and then open this up again, that's how you would switch by right clicking, okay? Um, so I'm just going to right click this and change this back to zero and apply and I'm going to change this one now so I right click so I know that I'm on this one and I'm going to change this to maybe oh well let's try the same one so because we're at the beginning free keyframe what this will do is delay the movement so we'll see the the ball actually or the circle actually going backwards before it goes forward so if I should apply and go back to the front and scrub through my timeline. All right, we're not seeing that accurately. So let me increase this by two and we can see what's going on now. So as we can see, when it, once it begins, it moves backwards, then it comes forward. So it starts out slow. Well, it doesn't really start out slower than the rest, but it starts out after the rest because it goes backwards before it goes forward but they all still reach at the same time so that's um how you can alter even those even though these keyframes are essentially the same these three you can alter them using the temporal tension well pretty much you can alter every single keyframe using the temporal um tension now you know, I know this explanation was a bit long, but I really hope that you guys understand the, the entire concept of keyframes, waypoints, and the movement of keyframes, okay? And also, again, remember to watch um, this YouTuber's video because it was really, really well, well done. And as I said before, I'll be posting his link in my description. And that's because I really like his tutorial. But yeah, I think that's all that you guys yeah, I think that's all. That's it for now. Okay. So, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Yo, MRD.